It was the classic 4-5 battle this weekend at the MAC tournament as the 4th seeded Iona Gales played the 5th seeded Canisius College Golden Griffins. Canisius is pulling off one of the best turnarounds in the NCAA this year, winning just 5 games last year and increasing their total to 18 this year. They won just one game in conference this season ago, but under new head coach Jim Barron, they won 11 this year, finishing tied for third in the conference, but because of tiebreakers, they did finish fifth and, will, and played the fourth-seeded Iona Gales. Iona made the tournament last year as an at-large bid and showed why, and were led by senior guard and MAC Player of the Year, Momo Jones, who finished with a game-high 33 points. Jones came into the game as the nation's third-leading scorer, averaging just over 23 a game, and he showed why, but the difference in the game was free throws. Iona was able to drive, penetrate, and get Canisius to commit a total of, of 23 fouls, which sent Iona to the line 40 times, and Iona was able to connect on 34 of those attempts. Uh, Momo Jones was 14 of 14 from the line, and other guard Sean Armand finished with a 24 points, and he too was great from the line, finishing 11 of 12. You know, it was really balanced scoring on both sides. Uh, Canisius had five players in double figures and were led by junior guard Billy Barron with 24 points. Chris Manners had a double-double with 13 points and 11 rebounds. Iona had four players in double figures. Like I mentioned, Jones with 33 and Armand with 24. It was Taj Ridley. It was the guys inside like Taj Ridley and David Lowry who were the difference. They scored 13 and 10 points respectively and grabbed a total of 19 rebounds. Iona now... Uh, we'll move on to face Niagara in the semifinals, a game that many Western New York people were hoping that Canisius would be a part of to set up that big four rivalry, but it won't happen as, as, as Canisius falls to Iona 89-85. Iona shot 59% from the floor in the second half compared to just 37 in the first half, and that was the main that was the main difference besides the obvious free throw differential. But it was a hard-fought game, a hard-fought battle, an unfortunate end for Canisius, but a great season as well. It just showed how deep Iona was, and it's hard to imagine that this team lost a total of 13 games in the regular season, but they did. And head coach Tim Kluse was very proud of his players after, including Momo Jones and David Lowry. Jones had been playing with the flu this week, and he was very excited of, what, of, of the energy of his team and the, and the overall contributions from everyone. Fun game to watch, somewhat fun game to coach. Uh, when, when you end up on a good end of it, it also helps. For me, it's good to have both of our players back. Momo uh, obviously has been very, very sick and did a great job stepping up and showing them on. Uh, came out and had a ridiculous first half for us, and they, two of them let us like they have so many times this year. Credit to Canisius, but I'm really proud of our guys tonight. Basketball is a long game. I tell the guys before every game, it's 10 segments. Um, and then play one at a time, four minute segments, four minutes at a piece. And uh, that's what we did. So we started off better than we did, we ended up on top. The regular season success of Canisius against Momo Jones didn't stop the nation's third leading scorer from having his way in the second half. Uh, no, not really. The regular season don't matter right now. Honestly, I don't know what I have. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever it is, it, it don't feel good, I can tell you that. For Canisius, Coach Jim Barron knows what the team has to do in the future to compete in the Tough Mac Conference. But it can't be easy for these Golden Griffins to take, as they thought that this was the year to turn around and make the big dance. This league ain't changing. You got athletes, you got guys that can take it off the dribble, you got guys that, you know, that are, that are, like I said, very athletic. So we have to, uh, you know, be able to to handle that down the road. Just lost. Um, you know, whole season we talked about going into the tournament. So uh, very disappointed, extremely disappointed. It's just really, uh, really painful right now. You know, so uh, really anxious. Yeah,